Hey Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. I'm fishing the inlet this morning. I caught two giant sheep's head yesterday. That was late in the afternoon, so I'm out here first thing in the morning. Out here gonna see if we can't get on some more sheep's head. All I have is sheep's head rigs, but I'm heading to my spot, man. It looks like there's a boat sitting right on top of where I wanna fish. There we go. Whoa. All right. Well, we'll see bass. There we go. Little guy. See ya. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Not bad. Feels like a little guy. Yeah, we got the sea bass. Mouthful of crank of crab. Thanks for the catch. There he is. There we go. Yeah. Feels like another little sea bass. Yeah. All right, little guy. Thanks for the catch. Got to be some fish around here somewhere. A little bunch of rocks right here. Time to start taking off some layers. Get this rain suit off. Start out at 50 degrees in the morning and it heats up to 70 degrees at no time at all, man. Out here in sweatpants. Rain pants over the top of them. Freaking burning up hot. All right, guys, I've been out here two hours. Little sea bass. What the heck? Where are the sheep's head that were out here yesterday? Ah, oh, these things drive me nuts. It's like, they bite and then they don't bite. They bite and then they don't bite. I just, I don't know. I don't think they're in here really thick. Yesterday I just caught a couple of lucky catch. If they were in here thick, I'd be catching them. Anyway, the tide is slowing down, slowing down, slowing down like crazy right now. And then it's going to pick up a little bit. It's actually an incoming tide. I don't know, like 18 hours or something ridiculous. But anyhow, I got a little bit of current and I'm in a different spot that I've never fished before. So we're going to try this area and see what we can do. There he is. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's the one I've been trying to find all morning right there. That's the one, baby. That's the one. That's him. That's the one I've been trying to find all morning. All right. All right. All right. All right. We found him. Man, we got freaking power boats coming through, man. Wow. GB Racing. Woo! Get them, baby. What, they having a race today? Four power boats. Woo! 13 incher. Woo! Crank a crab doing it up. All right, baby. Found some fish, man. Woo! See if we can get back on them. I'm trying to get anchored up here. All right. Give it a drop right here. There, now I got a big freaking boat coming. Dang it. I think we survived it. And that right there is the way she's supposed to work. Yes. So guys, the way my anchor system works here, and I got this from the Key West kayak guy, is uh, this is my quick release. This rope right here runs all the way back to that orange, it's a Velcro strap that I got. The Velcro strap actually has a carabiner clip on it. And so I tied the rope onto the carabiner clip. So that rope just runs from there up here to my quick release. And then you can see there I've got the bungee loop made. That's to give it some shock absorption. And then that is attached to my buoy, which is attached to my anchor line. So if I get in trouble, I need to undo this quick. I can do my quick release and just throw that rope out. And then that rope will slide through the bungee cord and my big float will leave my anchor floating there and then I can come back around and get it. I'm noticing too with this anchor system, if I need to move a little bit, I'm actually able to pedal the kayak. Like right now I wanna get closer to the rocks. I just back the kayak up and you can see that bungee strap 
is just going to slide right down the rope as I get up here closer to the rocks. See how it's back there. So I have some maneuverability even though I'm anchored. I can get in closer. Oh, he's right here, right next to me. There's two of them. There's one over there and one right here. I saw him doing that to a boat yesterday and he was doing it this morning. He just gets right next to the boat within a certain distance and hangs out. I had that dolphin that one day that was chasing me when I chasing my redfish. I had that big old redfish, man. Big redfish. Oh, look at that dolphin. He's circling right there. No, 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 no. You are not getting this redfish. He wanted that redfish bad. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it here in this one. Oh, dang. I just missed a good one. Darn it. I waited a long time for that hit. I thought it was hung up and he went, doo -doo -doo -doo. There he is. There he is. There he is. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's a tank. That's a good one. That's a tank. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. We'll take him. We'll take that guy right there. Well, that is a tank, sheep said. Freaking tank. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Good deal, man. Crank a crab, crank a crab, baby. Nice. I don't know, I think that's about sheep's head number 11 on the crank a crab. Oh my God, I'm right under the turd zone. Don't you poo on me, don't do it. Don't poo on JC. Guys, it's been a super slow bite. I mean, the tide slacked off and I, I scooted in here like really close to the rocks and uh, nailed that guy. I mean, I was like really close to the rocks right there. Ugh. But slow bite, man. I mean, it's been a couple hours since I caught that other sheep's head in this spot. All right. Well, crank a crab, baby. Crank a crab. <laughs> crank a crab by a hungry sheep's head and he'll eat it. I keep saying that. Let's get back on him. Oh, there he is. There he is. Little guy. All right. Sea bass. Here we go. Current started moving. We got us a sea bass. I changed crabs, too. Put on a different crab. Nice. All right, baby. See ya. Ooh. Dang. I didn't realize those waves were that big. Crap. Should have been paying more attention. Wow. What the hell just happened? Yeah, obviously I should have been paying a lot more attention. I didn't bring a cooler with me today, so... I'm just keeping cold water on my fish. We got the big rollers coming in. Oh, baby. That's a hit. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. That's the one I've been wait waiting on right there. That's the one. Oh, dang, I lost him. Oh, these things are so finicky. Dang it, I lost him. That was like another keeper right there. Here we go again. All morning long it's been like that. One big boat after the other. <laughs> Definitely not an ideal kayak fishing spot for sure. And this is on a Tuesday, you guys. Imagine what it'd be like on a freaking weekend out here. Crazy, man. Just crazy. All right. Let's, uh, let's make a move here. Got to make a move here. I haven't caught a fish since that last, I mean... I haven't hooked up with anything probably an hour. That was that last sheep's head that I hooked up with. I am a long way from where I launched, so I'm going to start pedaling back. There's several places I can fish on the way back. I definitely want to get on that spot where I caught those two big sheep's head yesterday. So, <laughs> let's keep on moving on. Having a good time out here fishing with a crank of crab. You guys, I bought four crank of crabs, and I've fished about five times now. And I still have three of them left, so yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, I can see them right there. Look at this. <laughs> 20 feet away from the yak. Can 
can actually see them underwater. Look at that, they're running right next to me. There they are. Wow, so close, man. Man, I have been out here fishing hard for a long time. And it's stuff like that, you guys. I haven't caught a fish in like two hours. I haven't hooked up with a good one in an hour. And it's stuff like that that just like totally makes it worth it. That was so freaking awesome. Got the whole, he's got the whole pass to go into and he comes right here in front of me. Wow. Wow. Guys, I'm fishing out of the Old Town Predator PDL kayak and all day I've been dealing with waves from yachts like that. Giant waves, man. And the Predator PDL kayak can handle it, man. I generally hit these waves at just a slight angle. Check it out. Nice. Yeah. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right, all right, baby. All right, all right, all right. Number three. That's a good one right there. Woo! Man, crank a crab city. Finally. Oh my gosh. Definitely a keeper. It's been three hours since I caught a sheep's head. I mean, I'm grinding it out here. Freaking battling all these big boat waves and good. Finally got a big sheep head. Got one, another one. Number three, baby. Woo! Nice, nice, nice. You guys, poor crank of crab. It's got, got two hooks on the one treble and the other treble hook's gone. But it's still catching sheep's head. <laughs> Been through the sheep's head battle.